Welcome back to Doc Shala. So today our uh, topic of discussion is lip bumper. So anybody have any idea of what is a lip bumper? So lip bumper is an example of a muscular anchorage device. Okay. So it is an example of a muscular anchorage device. So lip bumper is also having an another name. So it is also called as lip plumber. So it is also called as lip plumber. So let us see how it looks like. So here you can appreciate the picture of a child with the uh, uh, anterior incisors being uh, in a fashion of over jet. So, so here the child is having a decreased uh, growth of the mandible. So decreased growth of the mandible and uh, there is not appropriate uh, angle between the maxilla and the mandible which is making protrusion of the incisors. So let us see how the uh, appliance actually looks like. So this is how the appliance actually looks like. So you can appreciate here that the appliance is having uh, bands on molars. So these two molars are having molar bands and it is uh, they both are attached with a long loop of wire. Okay. And this wire is having a acrylic component in the anterior end. Okay. So these are the components of the lip bumper. So what are the components? The molar band. Okay. And then U shape loop. Okay. And also an acrylic component. Okay. So let us further look into what it looks like on a patient. So this is how it looks like on a patient. So the molar bands are attached to the molars and this is the U-shaped loop that it is having, that it is being placed on the mandible. So one thing you must remember here is that the lip bumper is used on both maxilla and also mandible. Okay. So the main function of the lip bumper is, it, you can appreciate here that it shields the lips away from the teeth. So it shields the lips away from teeth. Okay. And also one more thing what you can appreciate here is it distalizes the molars. So it is distalizing the molars. So because of these two, what it helps in doing is, so let us see what it uh, helps in doing. What happens is like with the distalization of the molars, we get some space on the arch. So space is created in the arch, which further helps in decreasing the crowding of the teeth in the arch. So you can appreciate here from this diagram that the when the lip bumper is used, when the teeth are crowded like this, there is distalization of this first molar creating space here and thus providing the space for the anteriors to erupt into proper spaces and thus helping in maintaining the form of the arch. So this is the main function of the lip bumper that we use. So if you like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and